Hi there guys, in today's video TrueCut already works, we're going to be looking at the cut speed and power settings within the program. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. And now just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the laser cut process. Now I'll leave relevant links in the description so we can, or you guys can follow along. Now in the previous video, we covered the design setup in the sense of what all these things do and what is the kind of goal that we want to be setting with it. So we've established that we want to make the black, the um, engraving and the red, the actual cut through. So now to set the correct values. So like we said, we want to set our um, speed high and our power low on the actual engraving and the opposite with the red. Like I mentioned, you can double click this and set the settings here, but I'm just going to use this quick menu here on the right. So what we have here is obviously the color, so we can make sure we are on the black. So the speed, I'm going to set something like 600. I'm going to get quite a fast speed. And then the minimum and maximum power, I'm going to set this to 15 each. Okay. Now, um, something to keep in mind that, so I'm going to zoom out here, that this will obviously, depending on the complexity of your design, um, you might want to adjust the minimum and maximum speed for corners. But uh, yeah, for now, we're going to go for something more generic like this, just the default. And then when it comes to the actual red, and this is the cut through, so for this, we're actually going to set the speed rather slow and the power rather high. So the speed, I'm going to set to 20 here. And then the power, we set something up to 100. And like I mentioned, this is not just a given. It's going to vary depending on your material. And also, um, you're going to have to do some testing at the same time to see. Um, so I would recommend making a small little square test, perhaps, with... Um, a cut through and the engraving on the inside until you find something you like and then you do it on your final design but this is just a demo video so i'm going to keep it rather simple so now when this is done i like to just save my file just so i know if everything's set up right and like i mentioned we can set defaults now. so what you can do you double click the colors we go to the um, parameters library and then you can go save as so I'll name this perhaps MDF and then we call this um, engrave. So you can put extra notes about it and there we go. We've got the basic settings as you can see over there. Then I'm just going to say exit. Okay, or cancel. We'll do the same with the red parameters. Then we're going to save as and we call this MDF cut. You can obviously call this whatever you want but now in future you can simply just if you wanted to change something and just go there go select the one you want and say load so it uh, saves you a lot of time in future now once this is set up and you're happy with your, what you like and your machine is on and connected then what you want to do is you want to go here to download you want to click that and then it will basically send the file to your laser cutter machine so we'll upload it to it i've covered before with uh how strange the names are but in any case your download will actually send it and basically upload it to your machine so you want to do that and make sure at the end it says successful so once you're done with the process mine is currently not set up so it will not give me the right uh, information but yours should say should run a little copy dialog and then say successful but yeah, then otherwise, uh, next up, I think we'll be heading to the machine properties, what we'll be doing there. But in the meanwhile, if you guys head to softwaretraining.co.za, you will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and also you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find what you're looking for, just go here, request a training video, then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.